Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a database user in SQL Server. We'll be using two ways, using SQL Server Management Studio and using T-SQL Script. Keep in mind that there are a couple ways that you can create database user. Um, in this particular video, we're, we'll be using login screen to create a database user. You can individually go ahead in the database and in the user and create the database as well. And that will be covered in uh, a separate demo. But in this demo, we're going to go ahead and use our login screen and give permission to that particular user to the database. So let's go ahead and do that. Right here is my... SQL Server, uh, Tech Brother Client is my server name, SQL Mirror is my SQL Server instance. In order to create a login, you need to go in the security, expand the security, and right here is the login. You can right click on the login, click new login, and we're going to create a Windows authentication login. So that means that it's going to talk to Active Directory and see if that particular user exists. If that particular user exists, then it's gonna go and get the Windows authentication. This way we don't have to put password or anything. It's all managed by the Active Directory. So we're gonna go ahead and click on search. And right here, the location, this uh, TBS client is the server, but we want to, this is the local. We're, we're gonna go ahead and do our active directory, which is entire directory right here. Click OK. And we're gonna go ahead and search and verify that this user exists. As you can see, this Kevin Scott user exists. So we're gonna go ahead and click OK. And by default, when you create a SQL Server login, the server role that it gets is public. As you can see right here, if public is disabled, then there would be um, another server role that created by your DBA in the organization. Then that needs to be uh, some uh, some of the uh, one of the SQL Server role needs to be granted in order for this login to come in to SQL Server. So we're going to go ahead in order to do. Uh, uh, to create a database user, we need to click on uh, user mapping. Uh, we're, keep in mind we're using login screen right here to create a database user. So we're going to go ahead and click on user mapping. And it will list all the databases right here. So you can select the, the database where you want to create this user. Let's say that I'm going to create a user in sales orders. And right here is my user. I have an option to give default schema default schema means that uh, whenever that this person will do anything to uh, this database such as creating table uh, it will go in that default schema unless he was um, uh, given permission to other schemas so i'm going to go ahead and say okay whenever this person um, goes and uh, uh, goes in SQL Server database and create the table, it should be by default go in um, DBO schema unless that person will go ahead and explicitly uh, uh, simply define that particular schema. So this user would have an option uh, by default if it doesn't if it doesn't define the schema, then it's going to go ahead and create in DBO schema. So I'm going to go ahead and do the DBO. And right here are the database role. So uh, whatever the database role that you wanted to give to that particular user, in my case, I'm going to give a read permission to this particular user, which is Kevin Scott. So we're going to go ahead and uh, choose database underscore reader. Basically, uh, that's it. We're going to go ahead and click OK. So now, as you can see, the login is created and this database, uh, this user has a database access and let's go in our database and see if that user exists. This is the sales order. We're gonna go security and right here, this, data, uh, this user exists in the database. So this is one way to uh, create a database user using login screen and uh, we'll be covering um, uh, in another demo that uh, how to create a user individually in uh, um, in the database uh, itself and mapping to the login that exists so and anytime you create a database user that has to be mapped to a login unless it's a contained database if you don't know what contained database is please watch my video that uh, in contained database you don't have to have a login to connect to SQL Server but um, in normal um, databases when you create database user it has to be mapped with a login otherwise that particular user will not be able to get into the SQL Server so we're gonna go ahead and delete this user 
and user SQL script and we're gonna go ahead and delete the login as well and we're going to load our T-SQL script and try to do the same thing and see if, if we are successful. All right, let's go through quickly through this script. The script is creating a login with default master database and then it's going to the sales order uh, database and creating a user in sales order as you can see that it needs to be mapped with the login so it's mapping to the login that it has created right here so and then after that we are adding a database db data reader role this particular member uh, into db reader role so that it can go ahead and read the data so we're gonna go ahead and run the script as you can see the script com uh, completed successfully we're gonna go ahead and see that if uh, that user is there user is right here this is the login so we're gonna go and check in our database if that particular user it exists so we're gonna refresh this and as you can see right here that user is created so basically this is it this is how you create a database user in sql server using login screen and we have done using sql server management studio graphic user interface and using t script and i hope this video helps